Hello and welcome. My name is Sebastian. I'm happy to have you here. And we are looking today in the case function, which is very interesting, very useful. It's a little bit more structured to build this up, but when it's built up, it's really powerful. So let us have some examples that you know then after this video how you can use them. So first we start with our normal SQL code. So this is that we are in our sales table right now and we have here the amounts. Let us run this and we see here our amounts, yeah. different types of revenues. Let's scroll here a little bit more up. Okay, great. So certain amounts different ones and the task could be now okay i have here different revenues i want to categorize it a little bit because when i would do now something like this i want to just have my revenues summed up it's possible but the inside is very low on this yes we could also use then later when we have with a transaction dates we could use also this to have on certain dates something. Let's do this shortly. Transaction date. And then we want to have every revenue on these specific dates. Please, when you use a sum or any other aggregate function, we have to use the group by clause. Transaction date. And when we would run this, we have here for each date the revenue. Okay, but it would be actually also more interesting when we could divide, sorry, when we could divide our amounts, our revenues into different categories. So for instance, this comes from a category which is a good day or a bad day or something like this and this we want to do so we take first our amounts again there we have them we can also say we want a product id comma amount there we have it. So each product ID has here some amount. Okay, and now we use the case function. And with the case function, I have it here also a little bit. We could categorize a little bit our products, yeah, and the amounts. So we could then say, okay, this was a good one, was not a good one. So let's do this. So usually we open it with case. This is the first one then we go into the next one and then we have to say okay when this happens or when this amount is there or when this string is there or when this happens then make this out of it so in the end what we want to create is that we have here behind the amount the second or third column in this case which shows us okay it's now 1500 a high volume or low volume. This is what we do. So we say case open when amount is lower than 1000 then and we could have here an expression for it. Low demand. Okay. Then we say when our amount is larger or equal to 1000 and our amount is smaller than what I have here an example 1500 then mid demand and then we have already two categories and all others we have to bring somewhere so all others for us is high 
the mother. Good. So, and our case, we open with this function or with this command case. We have here our coding inside. So when this, then this, when this, then here is a then missing and the else and we end this. So case comes every time in the end with end s and then we name it the column output. Yeah, let's see here yeah. and as output. And now let's see what's coming here out. Ah, oh, okay, great. So we took here our products and the amount and we categorized them a little bit. High demands, mid demands, and it's working also. So when it's lower than 1000, we look our oh, low demand. Product ID 19. Okay, good. And what we now could do is, especially, that we want to have, for instance, the sum of each of these categories. So we take here our sum amount. Then we have here our case output. And when we would run this, for sure we forgot something. Correct. We have to use the group by clause. Group by. So we want to have the sums of our revenue grouped by our different cases like low, mid and high demand. Let's see if it's running. Oh, there it comes. High demand, 46,000 revenue. We could also use another one, AVG. Okay, works also. And you can manipulate here with this is an example, you can manipulate it. So you can say also 1,500, this is larger than 1,500, and 2,200, and the rest is high demand. Let's see what's coming here out and in different categories, it's clear. So in the end, it depends which categorization you want to do. I took now one, two, three categories. You could take as much as you need. Have to bear in mind that all examples which are in the actual uh, data are also reflected and that you start your case with the command case, that you have your when, your else and an end statement and as output so I give it also a name. In the end you could also use this a little bit differently in a where clause but to this comes a little bit late. Okay, I hope you learned something. I hope this was nice to you. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I hope I see you also in another video for my Pro PostgreSQL tutorials. Bye bye.